The EU was humiliated when China censored the bloc on two separate occasions while reporting on the coronavirus pandemic, leaving commentators astonished at Brussels' deference. Brussels surprised international spheres, especially the incoming Biden administration in the U.S., when it signed an investment deal with China back in December. The agreement appeared to signal that the EU was less willing to adopt a shared strategy with the U.S. towards China, and that it intended to strike out on its own. However, in the months leading up to that agreement, Beijing's successful attempts to censor the EU suggest that this budding relationship may be more one-sided than Brussels had originally intended. A report released by the Bloc in April and an op-ed written in May last year were both altered to remove any criticism towards President Xi Jinping's handling of the COVID-19 pandemic. In an exclusive interview with Express.co.uk, commentator and former research director to George W. Bush, Peter Ruff, suggested that Brussels had allowed itself to be censored by China because it did not want to rock the boat. He said, it could be on the one hand that they underestimated the significance of this, censoring. They wanted to have collegial relations with Beijing and they backed down in the face of pressure. He continued, one way to think about it is the EU has paused between confrontation and collaboration with China. In part because they don't get ahead of their skis in terms of anything because of the German hesitation, the German markets, and the German power in Brussels. They have been hesitant to offend the Chinese and do anything that would jeopardize the German export markets. However, Mr. Ruff also considered the nature of the bloc's typical foreign policy strategy. He noted, on the other hand, EU officials can be very hard-nosed. Think about how they negotiated Brexit, think about the way in several aspects of the relationship they dealt with the Trump administration. It's not that they're soft. Mr. Ruff concluded that permitting the censors to go ahead, was obviously a huge mistake, which, in retrospect, they recognized. Yet, he acknowledged that it was a curious decision from the EU and noted, it doesn't inspire a lot of confidence in the EU. The most surprising censor occurred in May last year, when Brussels penned a flattering opinion piece for the Eastern superpower to honor the 45th anniversary of diplomatic relations between the EU and China. The original op-ed was uploaded to several EU embassy websites, having been authored by the EU's ambassador to China, Nicolas Chapuy, and the bloc's 27 ambassadors to Beijing. Dot. But there was a key difference between what was included in this version when compared to the article uploaded by China Daily, a state-run newspaper. The redacted sentence had originally read, but the outbreak of the coronavirus in China and its subsequent spread to the rest of the world over the past three months. When the same piece was printed in China Daily, any mention of the disease's origins in China and its subsequent spread was removed. A spokeswoman for the European Commission explained, this op-ed was drafted and agreed on the occasion of the 45th anniversary of the EU-China diplomatic relations and we regret that this joint op-ed was not published in full by China Daily. Mr. Shapui also told reporters, it is regrettable that part of the sentence about the spread of the virus has been edited. However, during the European Commission's daily briefing the bloc backed down over the editing of its piece. It announced, the EU delegation nevertheless decided to proceed with publication of the op-ed with considerable reluctance as it was considered important to communicate on key EU policies.